Now, so this Grand Prix event is going on for the Lego Technics McLaren Senna. And okay, so I said it's going on for that car and it's not. It's a Grand Prix, it's featuring that car. But if you haven't seen it already on the Discord server or on Facebook, yeah, you cannot win this car, it seems. As much as the car has a key icon on the actual blueprint in the corner of it, the car itself isn't up for grabs here at all. Now, I have said that nine winners will get an actual physical boxed version of the car, but that is nine winners between like the iOS version is, the Xbox, the Android, PC, and yeah, Nintendo Switch. And of course, this is one of the first times ever where you get an event running on all of the platforms at the same time, since this is also on global. But the Switch version is running appallingly poorly at the minute with that FPS bug, so we're at a complete disadvantage on the Switch. But I said I'd do a run through with this car and like, oh, wow, is it pretty looking. Just like, it's such a cool thing for a C-Class car, especially. I know it's got like McLaren's kind of signature, um, yeah, like cool acceleration handling and nitro. But how nice that actual car looks and the Lego aspect of it in like this game it just looks so amazing like yeah definitely it's one that i would love to have it in the garage and i appreciate the fact that people are really upset that this is obviously just a promotional piece that's in the game for a small period of time but i really love the look of that especially just like i i'm a massive fan of cars i love the mclaren senna and yeah i like lego as well so like it would have been cool to have this in the garage as a permanent thing but i understand why they haven't because even from a point of view of the other licensed cars i can understand why say somebody from ferrari for example might look at this game and be like well okay you have our ferrari car in a race but it's playing against something that's Lego and a toy and a Ferrari loses. We don't like that so much. So yeah, I get where it's coming from, from a licensing point of view, to have this compete in a Grand Prix type of event, but not have it compete against other licensed cars, definitely. But yeah, it's absolutely like, yeah, you get it for two weeks. So we've got our qualification rounds here. Um, obviously there's some stuff to be done. Uh, you need to qualify to be able to get the actual maximum rewards in this, which is just some McLaren P1. So, like, the main rewards in this are McLaren P1 blueprints uh, for the practice stages. And in your higher tiers, there is blueprints for a McLaren Senna, but obviously that's the, ver the S rank um, McLaren Senna that's in game. Well, probably my favorite car just for sheer fun factor in the entire game but at the same time yeah you're not going to be really unlocking it with like even the tier one top reward is six or so blueprints so yeah the, the rewards are a bit on the low side the main reward with this is just getting to use this car and yeah having a blast around with it and again it's a shame that right now on switch the yeah the game performance is quite quite low but now, uh, I haven't really looked at the times put in by my, <laughs> my group, but there's a 128 currently sitting in um, 10th place. I'm pretty sure I can do significantly better than that. Uh, here, here's hoping, because yeah, the Himalayas Frozen Route is a pretty cool track. Uh, I, I, this car is handling and acceleration, like I said, are just really, really nice. It's, it definitely handles just like a slightly um, weaker version of the s-class uh, mclaren ah, the only thing with it is like the actual top speed of the senna is really really poor and obviously this version is c-class as opposed to the um s-class uh, normal senna that's in the game that's uh, the speed difference is only about five or so miles per hour but it is a cool car when it comes to throwing it around corners and yeah getting it into the air and such but like here the wiggle on the s far far easier to take that with like uh the senna than most other of the c class the blue nitro state for cutting across the snowy patch there always and just keep enough nitro to shunt up with imperfect open drift drop down Onto the ramp in a shockwave if it was possible, but 
I missed out on having that nitro. Like, it is a cool car. It's just a shame that it will be gone after the two weeks are available because it's definitely, like, for a C class, it's a beastly little thing. And let's see. <laughs> yeah, so 114.27. Um, definitely, like, I'm going to be looking to qualify, hopefully, I think, in this group. I'll take one look at the, the other times in the group, but uh, 114, yeah, that beats all race conditions uh, by four or so seconds. Now, I done my first um, live run there and did a 114, messed up the second one and kind of dug the car in in a really weird way. And yeah, I said I may as well just use the third of my attempts as well in this just to see if I can improve the time and have a blast with this. And yeah, like this entire race and Grand Prix is all about just kind of playing with this uh, Lego car it, it's literally a case of here's a toy play with it so yeah I'm definitely wanting to see if I can um, improve the time uh, just for the sheer sake of I suppose it'll determine the qualification a group that I land inside and I have a feeling that 114 will probably be a tier 2 group it's not going to be tier 1 I think uh, there isn't enough players playing right now for uh, a time which is missing by a second to um yeah, be in the, that, that, that top bracket. So, yeah, I'm, I'm not really too pushed about the brackets in this one. Like, the rewards just uh, aren't really kind of there. And also, because of the fact that, like, I mentioned this so much, but the game's performance is such that it's very difficult for me to get upset over missing out on, like, winning a race or so because of the fact that, yeah, you have certain tracks which dig down into single frame rates of um, performance levels and even they are trying to make the car turn left on that and the controls just sheerly not responsive like absolutely terrible like this is a game which relies on very very precise controls and you have it on switch running so so poorly Oh, like you can nearly see the frames while you're driving on some of this area really isn't good and like yeah like unfortunately we're competing against uh, the global versions of this game ah <laughs> there we go a, a, a nice bit of an increase and that's a 13 point uh, 13.7 like yeah that is a 3000 um, 800 rated C-class car. It's an absolute beast. So one thing that is a bit weird with this, and I've mentioned it a couple of times that it's a class C car. And yeah, like the reason why I'm saying that is because if you look up here at the, uh, the blueprints, which have that key in front of them, like those blueprints are certainly class C blueprints. Hmm. But if you were to scroll across to here, it's 3,846 rank A. So, I guess it's either one of those. Um, It definitely feels more like an A-class car rather than a C, because normally the Cs are quite compromised when they have that amount of stats. Admittedly, for the Switch, like this car is based on stats for the global version which is a year ahead of us so it makes sense that this would feel like a car that's like yeah it has a lot more power other than the um the other c class that we have at the moment so yeah i'm genuinely not sure is it meant to be a class a car or a class c car just a lego car i guess <laughs> but yeah i said i'd put up a video of my uh practice runs on this and yeah just that a uh, really nice 113 with that like run in there and just to clarify the fact for anyone who's not sure yeah we don't get to win this car sadly on the on the switch or on any version of the game as it seems right now at least it might be some other event or a code or something which you can get later on maybe to buy it uh, i'm not sure it does depend on lego wanting to collaborate with a game which is kind of associated with gambling but i suppose they are already so that's kind of weird but anyway uh yeah guys if these videos do help you out sub button up there over my head and there's other videos for me here and here and yeah as always guys drive safe you don't want to shatter this one and accidentally stand on some of those pieces <laughs> all right good luck and have fun